Welcome to another exciting episode of Film Reels. We're going to be interviewing writer actor Sarah Hesh of Chic. So close the porn in the other browser window, grab a snack, and get in the missionary position because we're going to come at you cinema style. Hey, you okay? Margo, do you ever get frustrated with all this? Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's a necessary evil. One more movie with Slink, maybe two, and we'll have enough money to do what we want to do. I know, I just... It all feels so repetitive. Hair, makeup, report to set, get on, get off, blah, 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 and all for what? A three-hour fuckfest with no redeeming social value? It's exhausting. Do you want to quit, Gwen? Because I go where you go, you know that. So if you want to quit, you just say the word and we will walk away. No, you're right. Another couple of films and we'll have the money we need. I don't want to jeopardize that just because I'm feeling a little cranky. Well, look on the bright side. If your bad mood is PMS, you're about to get three days of paid time off. Can't beat those perks, am I right? So that was a clip from Chic, uh, which is written by Sarah Hesh, who is joining us here today. How are you doing today, Sarah? I'm doing pretty well. Awesome. Yeah, pretty good. So let's just talk about uh, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Minnesota in a suburb outside of Minneapolis oh. called Hopkins. Um, and unlike, you know, you think of suburbs as sort of just a group of houses, mm -hmm. this one uh, actually existed before Minneapolis did. Mm. So it's got like its own main street. It's got its own little um, identity to itself, which nice. was pretty good for me. Um, a <laughs> lot of inspiration there. A lot of inspiration. Didn't what? Didn't the Mystery Science Theater 3000 people have their mail sent to Hopkins, Minnesota? Did they? I think they did. I think for like the fan club, you sent it to Hopkins, Minnesota oh, in like awesome. a post office box. I didn't know that. But yeah, that's was, when you said that. Cool. I was just like, I know that name. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, there you go. I was meant for greatness, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, so, what was life growing up there? Was it? Um, it was, you know, pretty uneventful. I mean, it's, you know, the Midwest and it's a small town. Um, I lived in the same house my entire life until I went to college. Um, I was really into theater in high school and that's sort of how I got into film. Um, I did like little kind of projects for classes and stuff. Um, like what? Uh, oh, what did we do? Um, I don't remember what this was in reference to, but we did something where Batman was on trial nice. for some <laughs> other thing. And it was like one of those things where it's like um, each person that goes into the stand uh, has like a different version of whatever happened. Okay. And like, I barely remember the story. Yeah, yeah. I just remember that it was a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I and mean, you don't remember what the assignment was or maybe it wasn't no, even... No, I don't even remember what class it was for. <laughs> I know I was Batman. I know that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so then, uh, after after uh, high school, you went off to Lawrence. Yep. And what did you do while you were there? Um, I majored in English and minored in theater. I always kind of knew, like back in high school, um, I started writing for the stage. Mm -hmm. About I think it was junior year through community theater, and then started directing senior year um, through school. Uh, and so I kind of knew that I was. I wanted to be a writer and okay. a director. Sweet. Um, and at the time, it was stage stuff. Okay. So that's sort of how I ended up there and okay. did a lot of um, writing and directing while I was there. Sweet. So. And what did you do after you left Lawrence? Well, I, uh, it was a liberal arts college, so for three months I was naturally unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a job at Epic here in town Sweet. as a tech writer. So my a little bit of English degree helping me out there. Um, I moved here and then kind of did tech writing stuff for a couple of years, got myself established, made a little bit of money, and then went back to school at Madison Media Institute okay, in their okay. BMG program. So what did you do while you were there? Uh, <laughs> you know, I took the classes. I worked really hard. Um, there were times when like that, I felt like that program was harder than Lawrence was. Really? Because it's, well, it's so applied and it's such a, you really have to have a technical brain to kind of understand a lot of the stuff that goes into it. And lucky for me, I'd been working with computers for yeah. two years. Now, understand, when I started working <laughs> in the tech field, I knew nothing about computers. Like, I didn't even know how to clean off a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> so it was only through that experience, plus Lawrence, that I was able to kind of fit into the editing part of, of 
uh, video production. Nice, nice. I would never, have, never have been able to hope that I would make it through <laughs> that program without having that tech experience. <laughs> All right. So um, after MMI, well, before MMI, you were you were doing some fo like focal films here. Yeah, right? a little bit. So uh, what were some of the productions that you worked that you worked on? Well, a lot of them were uh, pretty small. Um, we started, it, I was, at the time I was working with uh, Amy Thorstensen, uh -huh. who's since gone on to Northwestern, their MFA program. Um, so we did a couple of little things together. We did a web series called The Bod Squad. Oh, yeah, with Karina Craig. With Karina Craig, yeah. <laughs> and Tim Town. And Tim Town. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Madison legends yes. in the making. <laughs> um, and so that was fun. We were going to do a second season on that, but. Uh, that was, we were writing it and then Amy got accepted to Northwestern. We we're like, well, it's not really, you know, feasible if I'm here and you're there. Mm -hmm, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, better if we do something else. So instead what we did is we entered our first year in the 48 hour film festival here in Madison. Yes. And made a short film called The Fairly Normal Love Story. With also Tim Town. Well, also with Tim Town. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with Alyssa Kowinski. Yes. And uh, that won best writing and uh, runner up for the jury prize that year. Nice. Um, and a couple of other things, like the best use of character and genre. Like, I don't know if you know the rules, but they yeah, give yeah. you specific things. And yeah, yeah. yeah we had the it's best. like a prop, a quote. Oh, what is it? And a genre? It's, um, it's a quote, a prop, a genre, and a character name. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. I think we got best character and best genre. I'd have to look again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got two, I know. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, you won awards. That's the important we thing. We won, yeah. <laughs> We're great. So, yeah. <laughs> So, so, yeah. <clears throat> so after, uh, so you graduated from MMI in 2011? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like we both had to think about that. I forget. There's been so much going on. So. Um, yeah. So then after that, you, you did, were you working on Disconnected at that yes, time? Yes. Which is a movie that basically no one has seen because, <laughs> because um, it, also with Tim Town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I tend to work with yeah, people yeah. I know. Awesome um, people. Yeah, they are you. awesome people, yeah. too. I can't say enough good things about both of them. Yeah. Um, but the reason no one saw it is because it was a senior project, and uh, by the time it was finished, you know, it, it's kind of heartbreaking to me because the acting was just amazing. They all did such an amazing job. Tim and Alyssa, uh, a guy named Charlie Ramsey, who was in Amateur Monster Movie. I don't know if you've seen that. The amateur Monster Movie? Yeah, he was, yeah, he was I've in seen that. that. Yep, Charlie Ramsey. I think he was the mayor. Yeah, he, yeah. He was in Disconnected. He played uh, the head of the department that uh, Tim's character worked for. Um, and Debbie Fisk, who was a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, and they all just did an amazing job. And it was totally my fault. Like, the technology <laughs> was not where it needed to be. The sound is awful. And it's so sad. So I might reshoot it eventually. If I don't, I'd have to ADR, like, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I spent a lot of time working on that. And I don't count it as a loss because I learned just a ton yeah. from it, it's mostly what not to do. <laughs> so. I just remember that one uh, that one scene that you had in it where uh, you did special effects where someone opens their eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was, I always thought that was, like, awesome to oh, see. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the, like, white eyes. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Yes, I can, I can do that. <laughs> That's a thing I can do. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and you were in it, too. I you? was in it. Briefly. I was very, I was in that briefly, and I was also briefly in the Bod Squad. I was a goon. That's, That's right. That stuffed Tim Town in a trunk. That's right. That's always fun. <laughs> yeah, That's isn't it? That's always a good time. <laughs> yep. And the funny thing is, when we did that scene, we were very gingerly trying to put him in the trunk, even though we're supposed to be, like, roughing him into the trunk, so... Um, I remember Amy saying, like, cut, could you guys be a little more rougher with him? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you also, you do a lot of writing. You did writing for uh, a, a website, and you do, you're into sports, like, <laughs> which I always, I always find yeah. uh, interesting. So you do a lot of, like, oh, a, like football reviews, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I sort of fell off it this year because of Chic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, normally I do the review and then the... The little stickman pictures. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> yeah. I love them too. It's just I want to be able to do them well, mm -hmm. and I just don't have the time this. Do you want to do stick figures well? I like that. <laughs> I want to do everything well. Yeah, yeah. If I, can. I like it. Having standards. Yes. Um. <laughs> Even with stick figures. <laughs> so wow. let's so let's talk about Chic. It's the newest project yeah, that you're working on right now. That. Um, it's a web series, but it's not, it's sort of a hybrid because you, you think web series and you think short episodes. These are full episodes. Yeah. These are 22 plus minute episodes. There's six of them for the first season. Mm 
Um, and I mean, you know what the series is about, but yeah, for yeah. people who don't, yeah. um, it's about two girls who work in the adult film industry. Um, and at the beginning of the series, they're working for this company that's greedy and, uh, you know, just kind of manipulative. And so they get out of that and go off and make their own sort of the American dream yeah. adult film <laughs> with the story and the, you know, the tenderness and the yeah. love aspect and all of the stuff that you want out of your adult films. <laughs> so, uh, so the first season is all about pre-productions, you know, the getting the script together and casting and fundraising and rehearsing. And then it ends uh, with the very first day of shooting. Okay. Um, and then when we do seasons two and three, it'll be uh, season two of production mm -hmm. and season three of post-production. I love it. So, I love that aspect of it. Yeah. When, you're, when, you just, when you first told me that, I was just like, that is badass. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> I so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Um, so you had, so on this production, you've had a, been working with a lot of awesome people. So do you want to talk about some of those people you've been working Absolutely. with? Absolutely. <laughs> I've been working with Alyssa Kulinski and Tim Town. Oh! What? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and like I said, I just can't say enough good things about them. They're super talented. They're really fun to be around um, and, and extremely professional. Yeah. Like always on time, always know their lines, just amazing people. Um, we also have uh, Kevin O'Hearan, who is in Worm in the Poodle. Yep. Uh, another great actor. Uh, Brandon Grinslade. Um, he's he's new, mm -hmm. um, but he's also been uh, really, really good for yeah. the show. Um, I know I'm going to forget people. I was going for Chris Knapp. I know, well, I'm not going to. Okay. I, was, I was still going through the <laughs> oh, cast. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but we do have a lot of like other people. We have uh, Coleman from Broom Street. Okay. Uh, Frank Ferrillo, who is in a couple of things recently. Okay. Um, Kyle Austin, some other like, sort of up-and-comers a little bit. Um, and then the crew, yep, we have Chris Knapp, who, this is his first uh, directing project. Nice. So, and he's just been doing an amazing job. Like, I don't even know how he just walked into this. <laughs> he has a stage background. Yeah, it's not yeah. like he has never directed anything, but um, going from stage to film is, I mean, they're Always different. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... I think his style is well lent to film. Um, and then we have uh, Bri Brienne Mueller. I don't know if you know her. Mm. Uh, she's oh, I know. I met her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, she's our assistant director. And from the moment we brought her on, it just felt like everything got easier. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just great. Awesome. Yeah. Um, just, I'm, I'm just shocked at how dedicated everyone is to this show because I gotta, mean yeah you gotta love it when people really get behind something because when you when they get that when people get dedicated to a project you admire that they're helping your like a vision come true mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, oh I also have to mention uh, Brian Dell and Carl Burgess who's our director of photography and our head sound guy awesome. who've also been doing an amazing job we're hoping to get Brian Dell on here soon Brian <laughs> um, <laughs> So, I'll talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop a word in there. Well, he's out in Columbus. So That's true. He has a commute to get. Uh, to it is get very in. true. Um, so you had a successful Kickstarter campaign. I for did. This. So Lovely. tell us. So tell us about Kickstarter and how well that you worked are, for you. You want the secret? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it just all came together. Pretty much. Like, um, I think one of the things that really helped us is we knew we had a base, a fan base. Mm -hmm. Um, we knew that we knew people who were going to be interested in this and we're going to be interested in giving some amount of money to it. Not a lot. We don't know mm -hmm. rich people, you know, yeah. not many. Not many. <laughs> um, so it, it was, you know, sort of not knowing four people that can give a thousand dollars, but knowing like a hundred people that can give twenty dollars or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah. however it works out. Um, so that was part of it, is knowing what your fan base is and knowing how many people you can count on to donate. Mm -hmm. um, I think another secret is just asking for the amount of money that you know you can probably get. Yeah. And then maybe asking for a little bit more. That's one of the things I, I liked about about uh, on your campaign. You said like this is what we're shooting for, and then, then I like how you you also wrote out like what it what it is going towards. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people want to yeah. know exactly what what it's doing. And then you you had three different tiers. It's like if we made it this much, we would do this with it. Yeah. And I kind I think that uh, that's a really from a, an accounting standpoint me going in school as an accountant, <laughs> uh, it's nice to know where everything's going to be going. And so people aren't just like, yeah, we just want we want a million dollars because we just want a million dollars. And right. we're going to spend a thousand of it on the movie and yeah. then just walk around with the rest of it in our pockets. Yeah. And I think especially if you're asking for that level of money, like a million dollars, you can barely conceive of a million dollars, mm -hmm. you know. 
So it's really important that you break it down. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming on our show today, uh, yeah. Sarah. You've been awesome. <laughs> um, always good to talk with you. You're, not, you're a fun person to, <laughs> well, <I'm glad laughs> to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this has been another exciting episode of Film Reels. Um, this has been Sarah Hesh of Chic. And uh, we'll be rocking out at you next week. Stay tuned. Join us for another exciting episode of Film Reels. We're going to be interviewing writer Sarah Hesh of Chic. So coming, coming at you strong. We're going to be kicking off. And this one is terrible. Why are we using this? We're not going to use this one. <laughs>